So we're going to have a look at question 12b of the 2019 Junior Cert Higher Level paper. So it's a question about factorising quadratic expressions. And we've been given a quadratic expression 8x squared plus 45x minus 18. And we've been told to factorise this. So factorising a quadratic expression, we open two sets of brackets. Now we know that the first term in each bracket, they have to multiply to give 8x squared. And so the possibilities are... We could multiply 8x by x, or we could multiply 4x by 2x. We know that the last term in each bracket has to multiply to give minus 18. So factors of 18 could be 18 and 1. We could multiply 9 times 2. We could multiply 6 times 3. And finally, we know that when we place these combinations of terms inside the brackets, the product of the inner terms added to the product of the outer terms, they have to give us 45x. Now there's a big hint in this question, and the big hint in the question is that they've given us one of the factors. So this is something that they didn't have to do, but they've given us that one of the factors is x plus 6. And so that's going to make our life very easy. We know that the second bracket, for example, is x plus 6. And so now if we try and decide what we have to multiply by x to give 8x squared, well, it must be the pair 8x times x. So 8x is the first term in the first bracket. And then what will multiply by 6 to give 18? Well, we have this pair of factors here, 6 and 3. So we know that we have a 3 in the second part of the first bracket. Now, the product of the inner terms is 3x, and the product of the outer terms is 48x. So to get our signs right, we are going to write 48x and 3x. And so to get plus 45x, which is what we have in our quadratic, we need to plus 48 and minus the 3. And so we can see that the 6 already has a plus sign. So plus 6 times 8x is plus 48x. And then we need to minus the 3. So minus 3 times x is minus 3x. And minus 3x plus 48x is plus 45x. So what makes a sum like this generally problematic is that there are multiple factors that can give us the 8x squared and there's multiple factors that can give us the 18. But like that, we were given a big hint in the question as we were told one of the factors. They didn't need to do that, but they did it just to make the sum a little easier for ourselves. And um, it's always good to give one final check of the answer. So we have 8x times x is 8x squared. We have minus 3 times plus 6 is minus 18. And then the inner, minus 3x, added to the outer, 48x, gives us plus 45x. And so if you follow those three steps in checking your answer, you can't get the factorization of a quadratic wrong. Now, one thing to note before we do part two of the question is that we could easily operate um, in reverse. So we have factorized this quadratic by placing it into brackets. So we could multiply 8x by x plus 6 minus 3 by x plus 6 to give us 8x squared plus 48x minus 3x minus 18, which gives us 8x squared um, plus 48x minus 3x is plus 45x and then minus 18. So if we have been given the factors, we can multiply those factors out to give us the quadratic expression. And that's what they ask us to do in part two of the question. So the question says, write down one quadratic expression in x other than the one that we've already worked with, 8x squared plus 45x minus 18, that has x plus 6 as a factor. And it says, give your answer in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So again, we're trying to create a quadratic expression, um, but they've only given us one of the factors. And they've left it up to us as to what the other factor will be. So I'm going to open up a set of brackets and I have an unknown factor in here. I'm going to create a factor in a minute and we're going to say that x plus 6 is the other factor. So they do tell us that x plus 6 has to be a factor. We can create any other factor. Now the one important thing is if we're going to create a quadratic expression that has an x squared in it, our other factor has to have an x at the start of the bracket. And so I'm going to create the easiest one that I can think of, which is um, x plus one. Now I'm going to multiply these out to give my answer in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So uh, similar to what I finished the last question with, I am going to 
open up the bracket x plus 1 and multiply x on x plus 6 plus 1 on x plus 6. Um, I get x by x is x squared, x by 6 is 6x, uh, 1 by x is 1x, and 1 by 6 is 6. And then tidying up by adding the like terms together, 6x and 1x is 7x plus 6. And so this is my quadratic that I've created in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, this is only one of an infinite amount of solutions. So just to do another one so we can see that there would have been multiple possible solutions to this, um, I'm going to open up another set of brackets. Again, I need to multiply it by x plus 6. And I'm going to create something a little bit more complicated, so maybe 2x plus 3. And again, I can come up with whatever I like in the first bracket. Um, as long as it has an x in it, um, it will multiply by the x in the second bracket to give us the x squared. So again, I'm going to open the first bracket and multiply the 2x by x plus 6, and then the 3 by x plus 6. That's going to be 2x by x is 2x squared, 2x by 6 is 12x, 3 by x is 3x, and 3 by 6 is 18. And again, adding the like terms together, the 12x and the 3x, I get 2x squared plus 15x plus 18. And again, this is in the correct format, ax squared plus bx plus c. It was even possible that the first factor could have just been x. So had I multiplied x by x plus 6, so x plus 6 is still one of the factors, and um, the other factor is x to make sure that I get an x squared and make a quadratic. I can multiply this out, x by x is x squared, and x by 6 is 6x. Now this is still a quadratic expression. Um, and it is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. It seems to be missing the c part, but we're told that a, b, and c just have to be real numbers. So the number beside the x squared, which in this case is 1, we don't see the 1, but there is a 1 there. The number beside the x is 6. Well, what's the c number? Well, the c number is 0. So obviously we don't write zeros down, but 0 is a real number, and so this quadratic would also have been acceptable. So the most important thing is that the second factor had to be x plus 6 because that was given in the question. And once the first factor had an x in it, when we multiplied it out, we get a quadratic in the right form. So again, just to emphasize multiple answers to a question like that, in fact, infinite answers. Um, and these were just three of the possible ones that I came up with.